A good day of practice. They, they're headed off to class now, and uh, but I thought they were really focused and uh, excited about getting ready to play a game. So I'll take any questions at this time. Like your thoughts as you watched uh, the CSU game and uh, the explosiveness they had on offense, but also the opportunistic uh, way that they played defense and uh, forcing turnovers. And right. Um, you know, at the last four or five games last year, watching on film, they seemed like to me they went to a different level overall their whole team and that's exactly what I saw in film they were hitting on all cylinders they were making plays um, on both sides of the ball um, and in their kicking game I was really impressed uh, with the way they played and, and uh, they, you know, they got a good football team and, and we knew they'd have a good football team and uh, um, it's going to be a really really tough game and uh, they played really well. How did their explosiveness on the offensive side of the football kind of affect you guys as um, we just play what we play on defense and just hopefully we can line up and play right and play hard. Um, you know, they, we knew they were explosive um, and uh, we knew they can make plays and, you know, they'll make some plays. They, they got good players um, and uh, Coach Bobo does a good job with the offense. I'm sure you always emphasize ball control, but when you see CSU being so aggressive and going at the ball, do you emphasize that a little bit more? Oh, yeah, well, ball security is all, what we do all the time uh, and, and we work on it extremely hard. Um, and uh, so hopefully we'll take care of the ball. We um, have fumbled a few times, but I think since I've been here, we have the least amount of fumbles probably in the school's history. Um, so we got to keep that up, and we'll see if we can do it um, Friday night. But they do a really good job of stripping the ball and getting after it. That's you know, so the one thing you're concerned about as a head coach going into the first game. You know, we've hit our backs, we've hit them some, but in a game situation, they've already had one game where they're getting used to it. It's a a little bit different, but hopefully we've enforced it enough and the kids take enough pride in it to hold it high and tight. Not that you would overlook CSU anyways, but just given the final score, does that ensure that everything No, we knew they were going to be good. Um, and uh, I knew they would have a very, very good football team, and I knew they were an explosive offensive football team. And, uh, you know, I knew they were going to improve on defense because they basically got everybody back on defense. They lost a couple guys, um, but they've got all their front back, basically. They've got their linebackers back. Of course, it's a sad story about number 12. I wish, I, you know, I wish he would be playing. I mean, that's a really the, the young man that had block. That's so sad. And, um, and, uh, but they've got good linebackers that are secondary, all those same guys we've played against, and they've got good experience, and they're, they're good players. And, uh, you know, they do a good job on defense up there. So I think that uh, I, was, I wasn't surprised at all how they played on defense with their experience side over there. I wasn't at all. You're in a game week now. Practice feel any different? Is it pretty much the same for you guys? Do, do you feel like once you get a little no, closer, no, when you, you see No, no, guys? when you get near game week, it's kind of like getting near Christmas. You know, Christmas starts Thanksgiving, and you're like happy for a day, and then everybody they have Black Friday and all that, and then, you know, everybody gets, and then you start getting near, and everybody wants to, can I open a present early? Can I open a present early? That's how they're feeling. It's like Christmas coming up, and uh, I can tell that. Yeah. I'm like that, too, yeah. if you can tell. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate Mike. it.